Why two? Why not one? Because we'll work on a uh, swing movement in jive. Um, so what we're gonna do? Make sure that you place the chairs next to you like this. Uh, the narrow, the better. Okay. So we're gonna have it like this, and we're gonna do the marching just like last time. But now it's not gonna be just foot placement, but we're gonna use the swing action with our hip. Okay. So that's very important in jive. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna do. We place a foot, we take a step, we lift the other leg, and then we're gonna touch with our hip to the chair, okay? Now make sure that you don't hit the chair. Yeah, just be very careful. It's just a gentle touch, okay? Now we shift the weight, we lift the opposite leg, and again we touch with the hip. So we switch the weight, touch with the hip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now why is it very important? As you can see, I'm not keeping my body completely straight, like this. I'm my head in the same position and I'm just swinging my hip from the chair to the chair so I can create a swinging movement, okay? This is very important when we're gonna switch to the triple step later on, okay? So one more time. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now I'm gonna turn around so you can see from behind as well. So we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What is very important that I finish my hip action when I lift my leg. You see, my hip is sideways touching the, the chair and my leg is in the air. Okay, so we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, instead of one, two, three. You see, I don't touch the chair. So this is very important to create this kind of movement. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? That's gonna be the same thing. So now we can put the chairs a little uh, more apart because we are going to do the triple step, what we already know from the previous lesson. Okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a back rock with our right foot, there we go, back, rock, triple, step. And now when we change the direction, we're gonna touch the chair with our hip and lift the leg, okay? This is our finishing movement to one side of the triple step. Now we change, play, uh, change side and we go, triple step and back, rock, triple step and triple step and one, two, one and two and one and two and all right one more time one two three and four and five and six and one two three and four and five and six and one two okay now when you're gonna dance it with a partner why we have these chairs actually there's a uh, figure called hip bump i'm sure you danced it already with your instructor or with other dancers so um very often I see that people are trying to um, kind of like hit the partner or go for the hip bump literally. So what we can do, we can either hit the partner too hard, yeah, so we can end up with the bruises, then we can call 911, or we spend too much time waiting there and we miss the beat, okay? So I wanna encourage everybody not to spend too much time. It should be a gentle touch, but it's not a full beat. Okay, so it's very fast. So with a count, we go one, two, three, and four, and five, and six, and. Okay, one more time. And one, two, three, and four, and five, and six, and one, two, three, and four, and five, and six, one, two. Okay, now what is a very common mistake what I see is again one and two, and we wait here just to get the hip up. Okay, so. First of all, it should be just a gentle touch, like I said, and then immediately placing the foot back to the floor. Okay, so we go one and two and one and two, one, two, one and two and one and two, one, two. All right, so this is called the hip bump. All right, but make sure that you don't hit the partner too hard, okay? So that was figure number one. Now, Another thing, what is very important when we dance this um, figure, is the arm styling, okay? So let's say, I'm gonna turn around, it's gonna be easier. 
So, I'm gonna move my chair on my left away, and I have my, I have the only chair on my right. Now, why is very important? Because this is my partner right. Okay, so I'm dancing the lady steps. So what we do, we go like this. And one, two, three, and four, and so we'll end up in this position. Okay, and then we do triple step again. We bring the arm down and we sway, swing it. Okay, when we do the back rock, we swing the arm with it. And now we go triple step and triple step, back rock, triple step, triple step, back rock, triple step, triple step, back rock, triple step, triple step, back rock. Now, why is it very important to continuously lift the arm and not just wait till the last moment and then lift it because the music is very fast as you know right jive is very fast so we want to make sure that when you get to this position you have a nice line with the arm and it's finished so it's not something like one two three and four and one and two okay so we want to make sure that you get to a nice position when you're here and then you can lower the arm back to the back Okay, so we go one and two and one and two. One, two, one and two, three and four, five, six. Okay, one more time. So, and one, two, three and four and five and six. One, two, three and four, five and six. One, two, three and four, five and six. One, two. Okay, now we can move the chair away. So now, no chair, no help, but we still maintain the same movement what we just learned, okay? Now, why is it also very important to do this? Not just because to connect the partner, but also to allow the body to fall to the new direction where I'm going. Otherwise, it will be just rushing to the beat, okay? So we don't want to stay straight and just do the steps because then it will be a lot of sliding involved and I can slide out also from the camera. So, the easier way to do it is allow the body to fall that way, and now actually my upper body is showing the direction I'm gonna travel to, okay? So when I do this, I travel that way, and now when I wanna change the direction, I do this, and now I can travel to the new direction. So this way it's easier to change direction rather than staying straight, and just the leg action, okay? So I'm gonna turn around and Show it one more time. So we start with the back rock, and we go back rock, triple step, triple step, back rock, triple step. So as you can see, my body, my upper body, is leaning to the new direction. Two, three, and four, five, six. One and two, three and four, five, six. Okay. Now. We're not gonna try it with the music like last time because I wanted uh, to dance it with the music uh, on the previous lesson and I got blocked by copyrights of Facebook. So the video was partially muted. So we're not gonna use music today. But we're gonna move to the next figure which is called Stop and Go. All right, so already the name says it that we're gonna stop and then we go, okay? It's gonna be very fast uh, change of directions. So what we're gonna do, we're going to use again the back rock and the triple step, so we go like this. Back rock, triple step, but instead of coming back with the triple step, we are going to do a back rock with the left foot now. So we do back rock, okay? We go triple step, back rock, triple step, trip, oh sorry, back rock, and back rock, triple step, back rock, triple step, back, rock, okay? Now, this was without rotation, all right? The fun part starts here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back, rock, triple step, and we rotate to one side, we do a triple step in between, and then we rotate to the other side, okay? So we go back, rock, triple step, back, rock, triple step, back, rock, triple step. Now how to know that you're doing the right direction in the correct way? Your shoulders are showing 
sideways, right? Two, two different directions. So now, first you want to turn to the left side, to your left shoulder. So when you do back rock, you're going to turn to the left. Now you're facing that direction, okay? Then you do the triple step in between. Now you're going to turn towards the right shoulder. And now you're facing that wall, okay? So again, triple step, back, rock, 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 triple step, back, rock. Now, even though we're doing a different figure than the previous one, make sure that in all giant figures you're using this type of action when you allow the upper body to fall to that direction, all right? So remember, never straight and jive. We don't want to do this, because then it's like, especially with the fast music, it's going to be a lot of effort, okay? We want to make it easier, all right? So let's do one more time. Everybody's there? Or I'm just talking to myself right now? I don't see you because the camera is flat. All right, let's do one more time. Let's go with it together. So, we go. Back, rock, triple, step, 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 back, rock, triple, step. Now, we're going to add the arm styling as well. So what we're going to do, we go triple, step, and now, prepare the left arm, and what we're going to do, we're going to lift the left arm, all right? You want to reach for something, all right? You go to the pantry. You open the door, then you want to reach the highest shelf, okay? You want to bring, uh, take the peanut butter, that's it, okay? So, you have the arm like this, then you do a back rock with the left foot and replace. Now you bring the arm down, triple step, and now you extend the left arm. We don't use the right arm right now, okay? So let's put it here, let's put it into your pocket, okay? So, no, just okay. And now we go sideways. And again, triple step and up, replace, triple step, side, replace, triple step, up, triple step, side, triple step, up, triple step, side, triple step, up, triple step, side, triple step. Okay? Now, if you want to get a little bit more fancy, we will talk about how to use the arm, okay? So, we have fingers right here, okay? And we're gonna lift the arm like this. Now make sure that it's not this, it's not this, yeah? It's completely straight all the way up, okay? And now we wanna bend the wrist. So it's not all the way straight up, but we go, we twist it out, so our palm is showing to the left. All right, so we're here showing to the left, and now we bend the wrist, okay? You see it? So one more time, we go one, okay? So when we do, we go one, two. This is very important so we don't end up being in, a, in this position, okay? This way it's more graceful. So we go one, two, okay? So let's do from the very beginning when we do the triple step, both sides. So we're dancing the stop and go, okay? Now we go. One, two, three, and four, five, six. One and two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, and four, five, six. One and two, three, four, five, and six. All right? So, uh, let's review the third figure. And actually, we're going to review it because I already taught it last time. It's called the Mooch. Okay, where we had this little pointing and we had the kicking. So I really hope that you practice the kicking since the last lesson. Okay, so we're gonna review it. For those who missed the previous lesson, you can learn it very quickly. Okay, so we start with our right foot back row. And one, two, three, and four, five, six. Okay, so you see it's very similar to the, to the stop and go. Now, instead of going back to the triple step, we go point, replace, point, replace, back, rock, triple step, back, rock. Point again, this side, point, replace, and back, rock. Okay, so one more time. 
triple step, back, rock, point, point, replace, back, rock, triple step, back, rock, point, point, back, rock. And now we're gonna do the same thing just with the kicks, okay? So we go triple step, back, rock, kick, kick, back, rock, triple step, back, rock, kick, kick, back, rock, triple step, back, rock, kick, kick, back, rock, triple step, last time, and kick, kick, back, rock, triple step, okay, so, hope you're doing good, everybody's holding up, and, and everything is clear, so, let's bring the chairs back, and we're gonna review everything what we've learned today okay but we're gonna go with a little bit faster pace so we are going to start with the back rock and the triple step mainly focusing on the hip action okay uh, I just want to make it clear that this is not just for the hip bump figure all right it's for the entire jive so no matter what kind of figure you're doing if you're doing a turn and then you do a triple step after that always you have to finish it with this swing action with the hip okay so it's not straight okay one more time we start with the right foot backwards one two three and four and five and six and one two three and four and five and six one two three and four and five and six back rock Okay, I'm gonna turn around. And like we said before, we're gonna use the arm now, okay? So now we do uh, the real hip bump where we have a connection just with the partner on the right side. Okay, so I'm holding my partner here. And we go. One, two, three and four, five and six. One, two, three and four and five and six. One, two, three and four and five and six. One, two. Three and four and five and six. One, two, three and four and five and six. One, two, three and four and five and six. Okay? So, today we covered three figures, uh, which was the hip bump, or also the basic step where we talked about the swing of the hip. Then it was the stop and go, and we reviewed the mooch. Okay, so those three figures are very important and especially the basic step because everything comes from the basic, okay? So if you wanna learn more and more advanced figures, we have to be clear with the basic elements and actions in the body. So basically it creates more coordination in the body, okay? To be able to, to take more uh, advanced steps, okay? Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us also on Instagram. So thank you for joining. Thank you for being here with me. Hopefully I'm still not talking to myself. Um, so you guys have a wonderful rest of the evening. Keep practicing and see you next time, okay? Peace.